Lost foam casting is the process of pouring molten metal over a foam pattern. The foam pattern then evaporates and the metal fills the empty space creating a metal part in the shape of the foam pattern. Currently, our customer Mercury Marine uses expanded polystyrene for their lost foam casting. Producing new foam patterns can cost upwards of $100,000 and take several months to complete due to the need for manufacturing a tool to create them. Mercury Marine has tasked us with designing a lost foam style casting process using additively manufactured patterns to greatly reduce the time and cost of producing prototype parts. The first semester of our project consisted of selecting viable filaments to use for 3D printing. Mercury provided our team with thermal gravimetric analysis data which we use as a tool to decide which filaments perform similar to polystyrene. In addition to the initial data from Mercury, our team used a program called FactSage to run chemical calculations to further support our material selection. Using FactSage, we determined the filaments with the largest negative enthalpies which would allow them to burn away using the least amount of energy. Moreover, FactSage allowed our team to calculate the minimum amount of plastic that could be burned away using one gram of aluminum 356. Once we had this data, we were able to determine our top five filaments that we would use for 3D printing. Our top filaments include polylactic acid, high-impact polystyrene, polycaprolactone, low-density polyethylene, and high-density polyethylene. Our solution starts with creating the desired part in a CAD software, and then splicing that model into code for the 3D printer. Magma is a casting simulation software that allows users to design gating systems and simulate the casting process. In addition, Magma can predict defects in a casting such as porosity and mold erosion based on pouring and solidification simulations. Once we had our CAD files finalized, we began to create our gating and mold designs using Magma. The printer, using the desired material, creates the edited part of the pattern. To prove the solution of this project, we were given a part by Mercury to cast, and we're allowed to select a part of our own as well. The pouring cup, sprue, and venting are then attached to the 3D part, and the entire pattern is dipped in ceramic slurry to provide a protective shell. This pattern is placed into a fracking sand barrel and is then buried up to the edge of the venting with fracking sand. Then, molten aluminum will be poured into the pouring cup to form a solid part as the heat evaporates the additive material. All casting trials were conducted using the foundry located on the campus of Michigan Tech. After cooling, the part is shaken out of the mold and is ready for surface grinding or other post processes to improve surface finish. After completing two pours, our team was able to produce sets of tensile bars for each of our three materials. These tensile bars will be machined into standard tensile bars ready for testing. Initially, it appears that the tensile bars created from the PLA pattern filled out the best and the PCL tensile bars filled out the worst. Moving forward, machining and tensile testing still needs to be done on our new sets of tensile bars in order to verify the mechanical properties. Likewise, further testing needs to be done on our materials and mold design in order to verify repeatability and credibility in our process design.